Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. Y to the power of 3 plus Y equals 30. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is to bring 30 to the left. So I have Y to the power of 3 plus Y minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, how do we factorize this? To factorize this, I have to break 30 into 2. So I have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 27 plus 3. Okay, so this will be equal to 0. Because 27 plus 3 will give 30, right? Now, open that bracket so that you will have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 27 minus 3 equals to 0. Now, remember that we are having y to power 3 here. So, let's express 27 to have power of 3. So, we have y to power of 3 plus y minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 equal to 0. And from this point, collect terms together. So we have y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. And if I want, I can group this into 2, group this, and deal with it, right? So from here, let's follow this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, now I'm going to apply this same standard to this so that in place of a minus b, I have y minus 3 y minus 3, close that, then a squared now becomes y squared, then plus ab becomes y times 3, and that is 3y, then b squared will now be 3 squared, right? Close the brackets, then we have plus y minus 3. Let's have this in another bracket. So everything is equal to 0. Now from here, what do we do? If you look at this critically, you will see that we have something common and that is y minus 3. So let's factor out y minus 3. So that here we have y squared plus 3y then plus, this is um, 3 squared, which will give 9, right? Okay, let me change this bracket. Then, from here now, let's close this. From here, y minus 3 divided by y minus 3 will give 1. So, we have plus 1 there. Then, close this, as everything is equal to 0. And then, to continue from here, what do I do? y minus 3 is still outside. Then, in here, I have this y squared plus 3y. You know, I can add 9 and 1 to get plus 10. And everything is equal to 0. From here, apply 0 product rule. Apply 0 product rule. And that says that it is either one of these is equal to zero or both of them are equal to zero, okay? Because if you have to multiply, let's say you have A times B to be equal to zero. So it means that if A is equal to zero, then if you multiply both of them, you still get zero. And if it is B that is zero, multiply that by A, you will still get zero. And if both of them are 0, 0 times 0 will still give you 0, okay? And that's what we are going to apply now, so that we will say y minus 3 is equal to 0 
or this quadratic expression y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. And from here now, we can get three solutions. We will have two from here because this is now quadratic equation and this is a linear equation. We'll have one from here. Let's get this first. So y will be equal to 0 plus 3, right? So that our y will be equal to 3. And this is the first value of y. Okay, we can call this y1. Now to get y2 and 3, we pick it from that quadratic equation. y to the power of 2 plus 3y then plus 10 is equal to 0, right? And by the way, if we are using quadratic formula for this, then we can say that, um, okay, we can say our a is 1, our b is 3. That is the coefficient of y, and a is coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of y squared, rather, so that our c will now be constant, which is 10. What is the formula? The formula is y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a. If I continue, then y will be equal to, in place of uh, minus b, I have minus 3 plus or minus b squared becomes 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 then times c which is 10 so that we continue from here and we divide everything by 2 times 1 because a is 1 so y from here will be minus 3 plus or minus then we have 9 minus 40 4 times 1 times 10 is 40 right and the whole of this will be over 2. If we go ahead, then y will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. If I subtract this, I have minus um, I have minus 31, right? So I have minus 31. And this will be over 2. But mind you, this is a 2 in 1 solution because y from here is equal to minus 3 plus square root of um, 31 okay this negative here will give us i remember this i is not under the square root sign and then this will be over 2 or on the other side we have minus 3 minus square root of 31 then we have i and everything is over 2 so from here we have our y2 and our y3 now let's bring the three solutions together and i want to bring them here so the first one is our y1 which is equal to 3 right then our y2 is from here and it is minus 3 plus minus 3 plus square root of 31i and then the whole of this is over 2 right then our y3 will be minus 3 minus square root of 31 then we have i everything is over 2 so these are the three values of y for the equation thank you for watching